Look at that beautiful sunrise at this beautiful KWM Gutterman facility. So it's really, really high quality. Uh, and then after they finalize it over there, it still goes into shipping where they check every single bolt on the machine and then they uh, wrap it up for shipping. So super exciting. Let's get going. So we're gonna look at the uh, half round machine. And uh, so some of the things that we need to know for maintenance. Let's there's, get started. No maintenance. There's really no maintenance other than oil the guillotine blade every day. You're gonna oil the guillotine. What kind of oil do you use? Uh, you can use WD-40. WD-40. Don't okay. spray it past the blade onto the lash drive. It will create slipping issues. Okay, so you can also use regular oil, motor oil. It's motor what we oil. use here when we build them. I think motor oil is probably better because it's a little bit. Yeah, WD-40 does evaporate. So yeah, exactly. And you're less likely to spray it onto the lash drive. Okay, so if we want to make the gutter. Uh, close up better, deeper. You will go down with this station, so you would loosen this bolt. Loosen that one. Tighten these bolts. And tighten that like, one to create pressure. Like maybe a quarter to a half of a turn. You don't have to do a lot, and you don't want to go down too far. If you go down too far with it, you'll actually drive this roller into that roller and ruin them both. That's not going to be good? No. So when the gutter is out, are you able to spin this? I'm, I'm guessing you'll be able to spin it. You'll be able to spin it, and depending on depending on what you're running, like I can move so it. So now you can move it, okay. Yeah, and it, so this is about the correct pressure that's, here. That's our starting point. And we don't very very rarely do I stray off of that unless it's like a really hard steel that needs to come. Okay. Is it is this solid? It is. Huh. Before they were not solid, no? They were like hollow? No, they were solid. Always? Always been solid. Okay. So this is the only adjustment here. This is the only adjustment that almost that, that most people will ever have to make to this machine. Okay. Is to open or close the gutter. As far as consistency goes, it's very consistent between aluminum, copper, and steel. Okay, perfect. Uh, everything back here is everything back set here at the, set at the factory and and don't don't ever it. mess don't ever mess with any of this unless you got to change the width of the entry guides for different width coils. So this one has uh, the same functions as a uh, correct. Same um, setup as a regular case style machine. And all the machines come with guillotines. You Correct. cannot option it without a... Half round comes with a guillotine. It's built into the machine. Okay, now you got chains on that side. Correct. Sprockets there. We grease the spur gears here. You will never have to do anything with them. Okay, awesome, awesome. And then the, the entry guide. Set at the factory if it's misaligned. Yeah, the, the entry guides are, are set here at the factory. It's they operate exactly the same as our entry guides and everything else as far as different width coils, you're only gonna adjust the one on the left. And you're using a 12 inch coil, which is the 5K, so correct. Yeah, it's either 11 and 7 eighths or 11 and 3 quarters, depending on where you're at in the country. Okay, awesome. And what else do we need to know about it? Uh don't run foreign objects through the machine. That's screws. That's bad. Yes. So keep the covers on. Yep. If something falls in here, you're probably going to be in big trouble. Yeah. None of the rollers are cheap. Uh, you know, they're all they're all chrome plated. Uh, These are. You know, and then uh, this machine. The difference between this, the G2 half round, and the rest of our equipment is the G2 half round. You have to keep coil in it all of the time. It cannot be transported empty. The the Gen One. The Gen 2, this one. This one has to have a coil in it. This one has to have coil in it all of the time. Like like an like an old Panther machine. Huh, nobody usually follows that, do they? Well the the rest of our rest of our equipment is keep it empty. Gen mm. 1 half round, all the case style stuff, the box cutters, faces, that stuff's all keep empty. So this one has to ha have a coil because if you hit a bump or something, these rollers can crash? Correct, yeah. So without the metal in here, the gap between this roller and the one below, it's ten thousandths of an inch. Mm. So you hit a big bump or something, you don't want the rollers to bang off of each other. You don't want they, them they to knock, it'll knock itself out of adjustment. So. Wow, Coil okay. Coil in this machine all of the time. So where does it say? Is there like a warning label? There is. So probably need more stickers because most guys will uh, have you know job site employees and they don't well, really. They may put a, I believe they put a sticker on the top of the back of the machine that says "Do not transport machine empty." Okay, so that that's that's a very important yeah, fact. Stickers on everything. That's really important. So a lot of people ask. Oh, uh, you know, the machines are super expensive for half round. That's because you got so many micro adjustments 
Um, yeah, you, got, you got a ton of chrome, like all of the rollers that form the lip, the back hem, all of this stuff. It's all chrome plated. So, it, it's all twice. You know, it's 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 we gotta we gotta run it. We gotta send it out. It's gotta be chromed. Uh, there, there's a lot of money in chrome in the machine, but yep. the, the chrome rollers are are, are going to be very durable too. Okay, awesome. What else? Uh, this adjustment's really the only one you're ever going to mess with. Like I said, I don't think I've ever had any had to, had to have anybody do anything with this roller at all. Um, if you do, it's only the green block, which would control up or down with the gutter. But like I said, I've never had to adjust this once I was done with it. I've never had to direct somebody to adjust this either. Yeah. I've had people come in here and mm -hmm. add pressure here when they're not supposed to mm -hmm. and ruin this roller and this Ouch. roller. Because your, your gap between these two rollers is only, is only uh, 20, I think it's 20, 13 thousandths. Perfect. So, you know, you put a half a turn on this, this roller is hitting this roller now, and that's bad. Okay, so never mess with that one. Correct, yeah. This one, this one I've never had to have anybody mess with. The bead roller wants to set. Most of the stuff in here is literally set it and forget it. Perfect. Okay, awesome. Perfect. Uh, extension cord, 10 gauge. 10 gauge, if you're going to run it off a generator, it does have twice the motor that other machines have, so you don't need twice the generator. You need about a 10,000 watt generator. 10,000 watt generator. Yeah, it's got a horse and a half motor as opposed to the three quarter horse that's Let's in everything take else. take a look at the motor. Is there any maintenance, oiling, or anything for this thing? Nope. nope, you could put a little chain lube on if you really want to, but again, it's not necessary. Okay, is there a cover for the chain, or that's there's, just... No, there's a there's a big cover that big goes... Big box, that okay. Goes, it, it covers everything all at okay, once. Okay, because I was kind of wondering. Yep. Okay, so there's a box that... Correct, it goes from here to here and covers all of this. Everything, okay. Yeah, every, so everything's enclosed. No issues there. Yeah, there's, you, you'd have to actively try to put your hand in it. Yep, and this one is all closed up. So this is different than the 5.6. You have a plate that covers the whole thing here. Correct, yeah, because on the on the 5.6, your first drive roller's this far into the machine. And this one is right there. This one, it's right there. So we OSHA, OSHA says we need that guard there For so sure. people don't put their hands in there. And actually, this one doesn't have a feed handle, right? Because no. you don't you don't need one. No, you do not. You, it goes directly from entry guys to first roller. So this half our machine, but the 6-7 combos they do have, and the fascia has a handle. Correct, because of how far into the machine the first drive is compared to where the entry guides are. Perfect. At. Well, there's a seven-minute video of a half-round machine.